What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a jailbreak tweak roundup. And this is basically going to be covering all the tweaks that I've missed the past week and a half to two weeks or so, just because I've been covering, you know, winterboard themes or iOS 8 videos, and I just haven't had time to do single videos on single tweaks. So I want to go ahead and catch you guys up to everything that's current, that way if you haven't seen what's been released, or you want to go download one of these, you can do so right now. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is called Asslock. Now this is a nice little tweak. It's basically going to allow you to swipe down on your springboard to lock your device. So you can see right here, if we swipe down, it actually locks your device. It's as simple as that. You'll also see that if we go back and you swipe down and swipe back up, sometimes it takes a few tries, as you can see right there, but it automatically opens up your app switcher right there. So that's kind of a little hidden feature uh, with Asslock. Now you can obviously disable this in your uh, settings right here, but if we go into the settings, you'll also see that you can trigger this immediately. So if you toggle that on, then that's basically going to automatically lock your device the second you start to swipe down like you're trying to open up the spotlight. You can also change up the trigger length right here to shorter or longer, basically giving you a longer area to swipe down or a shorter area to swipe down. Next tweak I want to talk to you guys about is Spring to Mize 3. This was just updated for iOS 7.1.x and not a lot of new features coming with Spring to Mize 3 uh, in this update. But you can see right here if we go into our folders, which is where we were, and you'll see that we have a new toggle called Dark Background. So this is going to be a dark background for your folders. Now you can see right here as I swipe over, it's actually not going to change the folder icon color, but if you go ahead and open that up, then that's when you're going to get the dark folder background. So it's basically just like dark folder 7, just not as good in my opinion because you can't actually change the background icon color right there. Next tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called tap the at. So this is a really simple tweak, but it's actually pretty useful. You can see right here if I open up notes, we'll go down right here. And what this tweak is going to allow you to do is just tap and hold on the at symbol and it's going to automatically enter your email address as you can see right there. So to show you guys again, just tap and hold on the at symbol, let go, email address directly inputted. Now this is obviously all set up within your settings. So if we go back here and we scroll down to tap the at, you can see right there that you just enter your email address, make sure that it is enabled, and then tap and hold on the at button and then you'll be good to go. We also have a brand new tweak called fully masked passwords. Now, usually when you're entering in your password into, you know, if you're downloading a new application from the App Store, then you'll usually see the last character that you type in. Now, with fully masked passcode, you can actually see that it doesn't put that last character right there. So if we start to type this in, then it's not putting that last character right there. So if somebody's watching you, not only are they going to be seeing that last character that you put in, they could probably see what you're typing in just straight from the keyboard but this is still just a little bit of a bump in security if you're looking for something like this. Next up we have a new tweak called Mark is Red 7. So if you like to do a lot of your notification managing within your notification center then this might be a tweak you want to check out. So you can see right here that I actually have 44 uh, instant messages or messages, text messages. You can see right here if I actually clear this one message right here, we'll clear that, close this and you can see all of my messages are actually cleared. So you saw that I had a lot of messages, 44 messages, but when I went into the notification center, I only saw one. But if I clear that section, then it's going to clear the entire badge. So it's basically just a really quick way of getting rid of those badge notifications without actually having to go through each one of those notifications. So the next tweak I want to talk to you guys about is called interactive message notifications for iOS 7. So basically what this is going to do if I send myself a new message, you can see right here if I swipe down it's going to give us that new iOS 8 style quick reply as you can see right here. And this got a little buggy after the brand new update right here. There's no reply button or anything like that but if you tap right here it's going to automatically send it. But basically that's all that this tweak does. It gives you that new iOS 8 style quick reply banner notification. And it also just to mention this does not work on the lock screen so if you get a notification on your lock screen you try to slide to unlock or quick reply it just doesn't work so this is only going to work within your unlock device and we also have a new tweak called icon resizer now what this tweak is going to allow you to do is not only resize your icons but allow you to individually resize each of your icons to whatever size you'd like 
Now, I will say beforehand, this doesn't work very well, but if it's something that you wanna tinker with, maybe you're trying to get a specific layout on your device, then maybe this is something you wanna check out. But you can see right here, if we go into our settings, and we'll go to icon resizer right here, open that up, make sure that it is enabled. You can also center the labels, and then right below that, you're gonna be able to resize your icons. So you can see right down here that you have the default icon size, which is about 62. Right below that, you have the newsstand size, which is gonna allow you to change the newsstand individually. But tapping right here into resize icons, you have your weather, activator, after ship. I mean, basically all the applications that you have on your device, you're gonna be able to resize them right here. So let's go ahead and do alien blue. We're gonna change this down to about, let's do about half the size, so 31. And then we'll go to, let's go to something on the front page. Let's do Cydia. We'll do Cydia, we'll make that pretty large. We'll do, we'll do about 80. And then we'll go back here and then we'll change the default icon size, which is basically going to change all of the icon sizes other than the ones that we individually changed within that uh, little settings panel right there. So now all we need to do is respring our device and then our changes will take effect. All right, so now that we're resprung, let's go ahead and unlock the device and you can see exactly what this has done. So you can see that the actual icons don't look too bad. The Cydia one obviously doesn't look that great, but just because it's pretty large. But you'll also notice that the folder icon sizes don't change and they're not centered. So you can see that the, the icon labels right below the apps are actually off center. So you can see how that looks just kind of scrolling through right here. And you can see the larger folder size right there. So it just doesn't look that great. But hopefully some of the tweaks or kinks can get worked out of this tweak. And this could be a nice little tweak in the future. And you've probably been wondering, what is that in my status bar? And that is status bar weather seven. So you can see right here that you have the time still right here, the left of the little weather icon right here in the middle. And then on the right, you have the temperature outside. So the weather icon right in the middle is basically just that moon and a cloud right in front of it, basically saying that it's nighttime and it's cloudy outside. So you can, you have a few options here. So if we scroll down here to status bar weather seven, you can see that you do need to enable this within your settings. And if you make any changes, you will have to respring your device. Now, right below here, you have the toggle to auto fetch the WO ID, which I highly recommend. Right below that, if the auto fetch doesn't work, then you can actually just use your custom WO ID. Right below that, you can change the temperature unit from Celsius to Fahrenheit, just depending on what you use. And right below that, you also have your weather update interval. So how often do you want this to update? Now also right below that, something that's going to work only on your iPhone is you can replace the carrier logo with this little widget or whatever you wanna call it. So instead of it being that little Apple or if you have AT&T or Verizon right there, you can actually throw in this new tweak. So let's go ahead and respring the device and I'll show you exactly what that does. All right, so now that we're resprung, you can already see up there in the status bar that I have my new little status bar weather seven right there where the carrier logo usually is. And the last tweak I wanna to talk to you guys about is Aki. And this is gonna be Aki 1.3. So you can see the new features right here. If we go ahead and swipe down on the notification center, and then we swipe down to open up a new message or a quick compose message, you can see that depending on your theme, which is my dark theme right now, it actually matches the keyboard or the keyboard matches the message box right here. Also another really cool feature that's been added is you're able to just start typing in a phone number right here and it's going to automatically allow you to send that without having it to be in your contacts list. So this can be helpful in some situations. So we're gonna cancel that. We're gonna open this back up. We're gonna go into our settings and here are the Aki settings. So you also have a new toggle right here for security mode and this is going to disable quick reply on the lock screen. So basically just giving you just a little bit more security. So right down here, you also still have your light and dark theme. So just to show you guys, I'm gonna change this to the light. And then when I pull down or quick compose a new message, then you're gonna see that it matches my keyboard right here. So that's just a little cool feature. Now the big or the main feature that was added to Aki is this new swipe back feature. So you can see right here, if I send myself a message, 
we'll get our banner notification, we'll tap reply, and the new feature right here are these three dots right below that avatar. And this is basically going to allow you to swipe to the right to see the last three things that this person or this contact has sent you. So it's basically giving you the ability to go back and see the messages they sent right within that quick reply box. So that's it for the roundup. Let me know what you guys think about these tweaks in the comments below. Also, if you guys want to see a top jailbreak tweaks for iOS 7.1.2, make sure to hit that like button as well as letting me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to get that out if that's something that you guys want to see. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.